Stay tuned because there's gonna be a giveaway somewhere throughout this video. There he is. Holy cow. Holy cow. Next cast, they're stacked. They're so stacked. So I got about 45 minutes until it's gonna get dark outside. And I just got home from class. I'm like, man, I wanna dump the kayak in. We're gonna challenge ourselves today. We got all the kayaks, boom, right here. Here's my bad boy, all bona fide. And we're about to put them in the old backyard pond out around my house and hopefully catch some fish. But guess what? We only got about 45 minutes. We're gonna challenge ourselves. The, the We had like a huge cold fry. This has been super cold. It's been like, 30 degrees in the mornings here, and it is pretty cold right now. I, don't, I really don't know how the fishing is going to be. I think it's going to be really, really tough, which is not going to help the situation with us only being able to fish for 45 minutes, but we're going to try our best to go catch some fish. So let's let's go give it a try. We're going to film a raw video right now, see what's popping, see how it goes, and uh, yeah, let's unstrap this kayak, get out there on the water. All right, going to put that there rods and the rod holders got the kayak out off the trailer let me show you a little bit about what's happening you know we just drug it right off of this thing boom right there and now we're about to go boom i think we need sunglasses and the old gopro and my keys i think that's something we might need All right, we're ready. We're gonna put this thing booty, booty first. Booty first into the water. All right, all right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh. Golly, I'm an old man. Oh, let's get this paddle. Yeah. Come on, yak, let's get it. Come on, old bona fide. Oh boy. Yes, sir. Whew. All right. Now we got to make some decisions. Now is that point of time where, where the heck do I go? Because I don't have too much time. The way this pond splits up is there's, you know, a little pocket over there, a little pocket in the middle, a little pocket over on this side as well. Um, I think we're going to go to this far side pocket. We're going to fish the main mouth of this place right here. I'm trying to be careful with my camera so I don't drop it, but there's some wind that's coming right around this corner. Should be some fish staged up right here, right on these two points that meet together, and there's a steeper bank where that wind's pushing. That's where we're going to start. Um, I got a chatterbait and a crawl on, and we're going to give it a try, man. All right. Let's get it, boys. We got some fishies to catch quick. Woo! That look like money to me. That look like some money. You got this wing coming around the corner too. Got this little corner. Got a juicy old chatterbait who doesn't like eating a chatterbait. That should be a fish right there. There he is. Holy cow. Holy cow. No way, we just got out here. Oh man. Yes, sir. On the old chatter donkey. Look at that, baby. Set my old paddle down. That was awkward. Wipe off the lens. And look at that little fat bass on the old chatter donkey. This quick. Holy cow, that's a good sign. There's that beautiful little bass. Nothing big, but man, he's a little chunky one. That is the first fish of the day. Old buddy right there. Oh man, that's sweet. That happened really quick. One thing that concerns me is that fish didn't eat it like like he didn't like choke it. But then again, man, I think there's some more fish right here. That he was exactly where he should have been right here in this corner. Got all this wind pushing right here from this main side, right in this bank, and this fish are sitting there. It's a perfect ambush point for them to chew on some bait. All right. 
Oh, that that happened really quick, guys. That was that was good. That was really good. Fish is right there on the bank. I have seen a few beds in here. Um, like walk in the bank, I, I've seen a few. There should be some more stacked up. This is the deep wall I was talking about. It's the steepest drop off in the pond that I've found so far. There's some big fish. I actually have a video I haven't released um, that I filmed out here that I caught a ton of good fish. And I actually lost a really big one right here. That video will be coming out soon. Man, he ate the chatter donkey. Let's give it a little slower approach. Get us a little Texas rig crawl out here. See if there's one that'll eat this a little more finesse bait. Uh oh, I'm feeling a little something right there. I like the feeling of that. There should be a fish down there. Uh oh. There he is. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm like, oh yeah. There we go. He was right there where I was filling all that stuff. This is happening quick. Holy cow, that's a good one. Oh man, oh man. That's a good one. Come here, buddy, come here, buddy. Not my... Holy smokes. Look at that fish. That is a good fish right there. Solid two pounder. On the crawl, figuring these fish out quick. Look at that beautiful fish. Look at the tummy on him. He was right there on the bottom. I felt that cover down there. I don't know what it was. I think it might've been some rock, but it had a really rough bottom and I was just dragging that crawl. And then man, he just picked it up, started running to the left. We got some beautiful bass. It's happening quick, boys. We just caught two fish in like 10 minutes. One on a crawl, one on a chatterbait. And you got a beautiful one like that. Oh my God, I about fell in. My kayak just hit the bank. <laughs> beautiful bass, man. That is a fatty. That is a football right there. Heck yeah, buddy. Thank you for biting. There he goes. Heck yeah, man, let's get back out there. That is the steep bank that I was talking about. And you know, it, it obviously had some stuff on the bottom that those fish were staging up on. And that's where exactly, I just caught that guy. He was on that rough bottom. I don't know if it was rock. I really don't know what it was, but if you guys are wondering what I'm throwing as in bait wise, I'm just throwing a little Texas rig. And I have a little speed crawl on here as well. This is just in June bug. The water here isn't super dirty. It is slightly stained, but it does have a tad bit of clarity. Man, and this is a hard place to fish. I'm gonna let you guys know, my pond out here is a really rough place to fish. If you come out here and catch two or three fish, you're doing dang good. Yeah, it's already started off to a good start. We're gonna see if we can make some sense out of what we're doing right now and catch some more. It seems that these fish are still out here. This is what I call the main lake of the pond. It still seems like some fish are pushed out here and not really back in those coves. Who knows, we haven't gone back there yet, but there's still fish that are staged up out here. Let's get another cast out on this little rock that's out here on the bottom. So it is giveaway time, guys. We have been running a giveaway in almost every single video. If you guys were wondering how the winners are announced, you guys need to go follow me on Instagram. I'll also be sending out notifications via the community tab. So these are the steps to enter. First off, you guys need to be subscribed to my channel. All right, click that subscribe button. There's also a little notification bell right next to the subscribe button. Be sure to press that as well. That's gonna send you guys notifications. Therefore, like if I pick a winner or post a banger upload, which we do three times a week, and also like the video, and then comment below what is the last lure that you went fishing with. And that is it, you guys are entered to the giveaway. And this is what today's giveaway is. So the first bait is this Dobbins spinner bait right here. And the second bait are some beavers, some little crawls right here. Those are the two giveaway items for today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far, but simple as that, to enter the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, and then leave a comment below on your last fishing lure you used the last time you were fishing, and you're into the giveaway. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Jigging this chatterbait just like a jig, hopping it on the bottom. It's a different approach, especially on a day like today with how, I didn't talk about this, but you know, it's bluebird skies out right now. And usually when that happens, those fish aren't roaming as much. You know, they're gonna sit here and get on whatever cover that they can and, uh, you know, camp out for a bit. So these fish might not be as aggressive. Um, I'm, I'm really surprised that we've caught what we've caught so far. Very surprised about that. 
This is something that I've been doing recently is working a chatterbait like a jig. Oh man, do they like it. Something about it, they just tear up. Just working this thing really slow, dragging it on the bottom. They'll just load up on this thing. Sometimes they'll even tank it. Game over. Game over. Just grab it, fish. I already know you're about to. Makes too much sense for you not to be there. Textbook, man. There he is. Oh my God, it's a big one. Oh my God, it's a big one. <laughs> you little guy. Look at that. Look how fat these fish are, baby. I caught, did I not call him? It's happening. I, I Look at this. I made a simple adjustment. You know, I had that chatterbait on. I had that, that little crawl on. Chatterbait, I was kind of using like a crawl. So I was like, it makes no sense. I'm going to pick up a gold and black back trap and catch a little fat guy like that. That's a solid pound and a half fish. Look how fat he is. Here's that little fat bass. Let's get him back in the water. Look at that tummy on him. So fat and healthy. So that's three baits we caught fish on. Crawl, chatterbait, trap. There he goes. I called you, buddy. I called you. All right, let's get back out here. My camera died and I floated in on this spot. I really didn't want to. I knew there was more than one here. Uh, but I did call that little guy. I knew he was gonna be sitting there. There has to be another one here. Sometimes it just makes too much sense for there not to be a fish where you're casting. Sometimes it's just textbook. Like there should be one where I just cast it there, but sometimes they just don't want to bite. All right, chucking this trap. Just got back out here on the main lake, throwing off this point. Gonna see if we can get, catch a little active one. This wind has calmed down um, for what it was when we caught those three fish, but we're gonna see if we can catch one on a moving bait right out here. See what we can throw together. Should be some right here. Some active ones that are ready to munch an old trap. And next down right here in the middle, usually this spot right here is the best when the wind is coming down this way, just kind of like it was when we first came out here. And uh, what these fish do is they stack up on, on both of these sides, especially around these points, because all this wind's blowing all that bait and everything, and those fish are just sitting right there around those ambush points. And it's like a little highway, so when this wind's coming right down here, these fish are just all staged up, not only on these banks, but right off the edge of these points. And they stack up really good there. And, Usually you can get on them good, but I mean, I guess we'll see. The wind's kind of calmed down. These fish didn't go far, that's for sure. Golly, come on, fish. Come on, fish. I don't know. Oh God, he slammed me. Oh man. There he is. There he is. I'm, I'm afraid, holy cow. This is a good one. Look, he's not even coming up. Oh, he's coming up now. Oh man. Yep. A little further off the bank. Oh man, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Freaking footballs, look at that. <laughs> Freaking footballs, man. Right there, he just slapped me, look at that. I got some nice lining on my trap. Look at that, beautiful fat. God, look how fat they are, guys. I mean, these are these are literally footballs of a fish. That fish is pushing a pound and three quarters right there, and he ain't. He's like in a one pound body and he's pushing that two pound margin with that that fat tummy of his. But let's get back out there. Running out of daylight, man, we're figuring them out. There's two fish on a trap, one on a chatterbait, one on a um, Texas rig. Oh yeah. All right, that was good. That was good. That's exactly what I was talking about with these fish staging up out here. The thing with this lake is that I got this dang line and all around the whole lake. I hate this stuff right here. Got that on my crankbait. I'm, I'm pretty sure he bit it when I had it on there still. So I threw up. I don't know. So I've been throwing kind of closer to the bank and that cast was a little bit further off, about 15 foot off the bank. And that's when he hit it. He slapped it the first time and then he loaded up on it. But he wasn't on the bank. He was, he was more off. Maybe that's gonna help us out right there. There should be another one. There should be another one. 
Yep, there he is. Oh, man. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Come on, baby. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, yeah. They're stacked. They're stacked just like what I was saying. Oh, man. Can we get our five fish limit, baby? Yes, we can. <laughs> oh, my God. And they aren't even choking this trap. Like, they're barely hitting it. And they're all footballs, man. We got us a five fish limit in literally 30 minutes. Look at the freaking stomach. Straight footballs, baby. He's right there. God, that was awesome. Right there where that other one was. There should be some more. I mean, they're stacked. Literally almost the exact same cast. Can we get another one right here? They're stacked on this bank. They ain't on this right-hand side, which is kind of crazy. I just cannot believe these fish are... I got another one. Oh, my God. Holy cow. They're slapping the heck out of it, guy. Oh, oh. There he is. <laughs> Next cast. They're stacked. They're so stacked. Oh, my God. Is this really happening? Yes. Oh. Freaking footballs. This is amazing. We're really figuring these fish out. And I literally called this before it even happened. I said, these fish are going to be stacked right here. Look at the stomach on that one. Oh yeah, beautiful bass. I, I, I was trying to go for a sexy release, but that did not want to happen. Next cast, baby. All right, let's stage up for this. Can we get three and three cast? All right, they are stacked here, guys. This is dang near the same cast every time. I was a little too close for what I've been catching them at. They are chewing this trap. I don't know if it's just the sun going down. That bite usually enhances. But man, they're chewing. We just caught three quick. I'm so surprised that they're not back in these pockets, especially after I already saw these beds. And we, we caught all six of these fish out here on the main lake. And that, that, that just surprises me, man. I, I really, I really would have thought otherwise. Holy cow, one just slapped me. Holy cow, one just slapped me. They're in the same spot. Something they're holding on to down there. And there should be some on this, like right there on this bank. I don't know why there wouldn't be. Well guys, that is going to conclude it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see some more kayak fishing videos, be sure to let me know. If you guys have not entered the giveaway yet, be sure to go back in the video and find where I announced the giveaway and figure out how you need to enter so you can be the next winner of the video so hope you guys enjoyed this thing let me know if you guys want to see some more kayak fishing videos because i want to put some more out there you know i have a blast filming them uh, if you guys enjoy if you guys think it's something different it's cool if you guys have any video suggestions on um, whether it's like some type of kayak fishing ideas or just video suggestions in general be sure to leave them below if you guys are new to the channel and you guys have not subscribed yet be sure to hit that subscribe button. There's also a notification bell right next to that. Be sure to click that as well because we upload three bangers every single week and you wanna make sure you are notified. And also, if you guys have been enjoying the content, be sure to click the like button. But without further ado, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in the next video.